All right, so a while ago I said I'd do a little review on the Sinex 3580 socket set. So uh, here we are. I wanted to say true to my words. So I've been very happy with this Sinex tool set. In fact, this was my first introduction to their product and I was very impressed with what uh, I got for my money. So this is a 3 8 drive socket set that uh, covers a fairly wide range and it has uh, a lot of interesting options in it. So one thing I will say is I don't like this uh, kit, like the package. It doesn't have the uh, grips on the side when you close it. So if you carry this around a lot, every time you open it, the first time you open it, you'll have to readjust the sockets. They pop it. It's kind of uh, an annoying thing to me. So I've had this for uh, probably two years now. Like I said, I've been very happy with it. It comes with... Uh, an almost complete set. It's almost perfect, but there is, I think, one skip in the whole set. I'll make a note in the description as to which one it skips, because I can't remember off the top of my head. That hasn't been a problem. So if you get a cheap set, sometimes they'll force you to switch between metric and imperial to get a, a good fitting socket, but in this one they don't do that. So it has uh, shallow swivels, has uh, deep sockets and uh, shallow sockets. They're all six point. And it also has uh, torques and e torques in the set. So that's uh, an example of the torques here. And they're engraved and uh, etched. So I've never had any trouble identifying which sockets they are. The uh, spots in the socket set are all marked. As you can see, they're in order. They're not kind of like a random jumble to make them fit into the set. So that's good. But one thing I don't like about them is that the uh, e-torques are physically too big to use. So you'll see that this is the E10. And if you have a Mercedes, you'll uh, know that you need to use uh, e-sockets. I'm not sure if any other ones use it or not. This is a quarter inch E10 socket. So I had to buy hand sockets to uh, supplement this kit because you can't make this uh, fit where an E10 socket belongs in a lot of cases. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But generally you grab the socket set and take it to wherever you're working and you can get by with everything that's in here. There is a long extension that's supposed to be here that I bent. I was using that as a uh, to jack something up. And I put a few tons on it and I bent it, so that's not really Sun Axe's fault. But aside from that, here we are. The flutes inside of the uh, socket don't go all the way to the bottom, but they go down a fairly significant distance. So that's handy so you can bottom out the socket. And I guess that's really about it, other than you see the swivels are not a U-joint style swivel. This one has a pin. And they're, they're fairly firm, they don't flop around, so you can get them in where you need to get them. They're uh, not meant for a locking bar. You'll see there's a hole in it, but that's just for a detent ball. But when you're using these uh, swivels, be careful, you always anticipate that they're going to break. But uh, the other reason I bought this is you see a lot of YouTube videos where people are using the wrong socket sets. They'll use like a regular plain chrome socket on an impact gun. It always bothers me because I've seen enough of the regular chrome sockets split open. And you really shouldn't do that. So uh, I'd recommend you invest in a socket set like this. They're actually fairly inexpensive. So uh, it's a, a good way to start if you don't have a set. Or if you're looking for a metric and imperial set. If you have a car that's only metric or imperial, I would recommend you buy one of their straight sets only because it has a little bit wider range. It goes up into the half inch drive socket zone, whereas this one, let's take a look at it. So it starts at 5 16 and it's a 17 millimeter. That's kind of funny. So I got my sockets mixed up a little bit. That's embarrassing. <laughs> and 
and it ends at three quarter. So it's uh, here to here, and then it goes from here to here, basically. So this one here, the high end, is 19 millimeter and starts at 8 millimeter. And I think that it skips a 3 eighths or a 8 millimeter at the beginning on one of the different parts, but I can't remember exactly which one. So I'll look that up and let you know. Thank you for watching.